Okay, today we are talking about bench press and showing you what happens with your got a winging scapula, what happens when you retract and protract on a bench press and the problems that happen as far as injuries go and the biomechanics of the bench press. So I'm going to show you how Mike does it. So Mike, here's Mike, if you jump on the bench press. Mike's going to show us uh, what is happening biomechanically with the bench press if you've got a few problems. So normally on a bench press we try and get people you know not too wide obviously we want to be at them externally rotating so when they come down they want to make sure they've got you know a good normal angle here and they're not too wide that's for a start okay but the big thing I want to talk to you about today is the angle of the scapula here so when they go up to bench press you go up for me Mike pushing up if the shoulder blades if this shoulder blade as you imagine is on this angle if it's protracted incorrectly like if it's winging it's going to be up on this angle here so when he comes down come down for me Mike. If that shoulder blade doesn't come down flat enough into here, so if he can't, yes he's retracting, but if he can't actually get it flat on this shoulder blade and it sits up, he's going to get impingement problems through the back of the joint. Just push up for me again Mike. And the same thing, what happens is on a bench press that's really heavy, at the moment we've got nothing on this, but if you've got something that's really heavy, when he comes down, the best position to be obviously is fully retracted the whole way and so you stay in a retracted position and when you bench press you come up so then you, and you stay in protect you don't project forward however if that if you are fully retracted but you're winging that means your shoulder blade is up on an angle so when you press forward you're still going to have problems in the shoulder joint because biomechanically you can't you're not actually keeping it in a sound position when you press forward it's actually tilted up on the angle just come down for me again Mike and so the other thing that this the problem arises with is when you retract a lot here you're promoting a lot of rhomboids therefore you're switching off your serratus so that in fact what happens is the, the scapula over time with a lot of bench press actually starts tilting this way which leads into problems in the bench press in the shoulder joint because you're reefing through the shoulder joint without correct mechanics even though people try and pull it backwards or retract it backwards it's still sitting like it was protracted forward which is why people get shoulder problems when they press forward so when they press up if they if you go again Mike when they press forward, if this is sitting too far in this position, you'll get problems when they angularly rotate and, and get issues through the front. 